Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to Ontario Vintage Tractor on this nice Sunday morning. We are back into our WF project. Today we've got the floor pan off, the steering wheels off, and now we're going to focus on removing some non-factory options. Somebody welded some mounts to the bottom of the frame and we're going to go ahead and get rid of that stuff and clean it up. Stay tuned. All right, as you can see, this bracket right here is not a factory option. Uh, as well as there's some chains for some support back here on the frame as well. I'll move the camera when we get to it. Um, then you can see us clean it up. So all I'm going to do is take a regular cutting wheel and I'm going to grind the edge of the weld and then break it free with a hammer so I don't end up hurting the frame itself. And then we'll grind the frame nice and smooth. Here, more grinding is required. Free. I'm just gonna 
wiggle it loose. That's it. So I don't know what they had this on there for. I'm assuming some sort of plow or scuffler. But uh, we don't need them for our resto. Okay, so we got those brackets cut off. Uh, like I said, there's a couple more little chain hangers on the back of the frame, and we're gonna cut those off with the torch, and we'll do that now. So the bracket that we're gonna be removing, well, it's more just a, a chain hung here along the side of the frame with one bolt through it. Uh, square, square nut, square bolt, it's really hard to get off because it's all rotten, so we're just gonna go ahead and nip them off with the torch. Plus, cutting metal with fire is pretty cool. First we get it hot and then we use the oxygen to blow through. side down and the other one is right down here and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did on the other side That one's out. So that's it for today's episode of Ontario Vintage Tractor. Uh, we hope you enjoyed what you saw. And as always, I'll ask you to like and subscribe. That'll help the channel grow. And have a great day.